Hi, I'm Jessica Shattuck, the author of The Women in the Castle. I wrote most of this book in my local library, which is the main branch of the Brookline Public Library. I would not have finished it without it. I have three small children and can't get anything done at home, so my daily routine was getting my coffee and heading to the Brookline room of the Brookline Public Library. Um, but that is not the only way in which libraries have been very important to me. When I was a kid, the library was basically my babysitter. I grew up in um, the 80s in Washington, D.C., and had two working parents, and I don't think the working parent thing had been solved yet by after-school programs. So my mother's solution was to send me to the local library after school until she could come pick me up. And um, I remember very clearly the one very long block that I had to walk down from John Eaton Public School in Washington, D.C. to the Macomb Street branch of the library, where I was, it, it, this was in the heyday of kidnappings, or at least the heyday of my worry about kidnappings. So I would walk down that street and worry that every blue car or white van driving past was about to snatch me. And then I would get to the Macomb Street branch of the library, and I still remember that lovely feeling of safety and warmth when I opened the doors and there would be that smell of old books and spilled apple juice, and I'd go set up with my homework in the corner of the children's section. And um, when I was done with my homework, I could browse around and choose books and read until my mother came to get me. And I think without that, I probably would not have become a writer because I certainly read voraciously because of my access to books.